In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite match defense, how I like to use it against tight slots halfback week to slow this formation down. A lot of players in this year's game are running the Carolina offensive playbook, and they're utilizing bunch into tight slots. So we're going to show you in this specific video how you can, with a couple of adjustments, be able to significantly, uh, significantly affect how their tight slots is going to be able to function against your defense. Now, if you're new to the channel, like I said, hit that subscribe button below. We upload multiple videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Every single day, we're just trying to get a little bit better at this game and this year's game i have to tell you is very difficult on the defensive side of the ball it's honestly very difficult because one little mistake can uh, basically lead to an easy touchdown for the offense so in this video we're going to share with you my favorite defense for tight slots and it comes to us out of the 46 playbook now if you've not already uh, picked up my 46 defensive ebook i'm going to put a link to it in the description below uh, you can get that by clicking that link right there um, but what we're going to be doing is our 335 wide defense. We are going to be putting the cover four show two in our audibles. I think that the cover four show two, this is just my personal opinion, but I believe that the cover four show two is the best defense in the game this year. And the reason why is because of how adaptable the coverage is. It's a cover four quarters from nickel 335 wide, which you don't quite find really, I think, in any other playbook other than this one, because we're only going to blitz two people. We're not going to get weak box. We're going to be able to stop the run. We're going to be able to get sheds. But we're also going to be able to basically cover every single thing that they can do from tight slots, at least for the most part. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out in the nickel 335 normal. What we want to do is we'll make sure that we have safeties in at the linebacker position. That is going to allow our players to animate better in pass coverage. It's also going to allow us, uh, in my opinion, to be able to uh, just get better, better uh, man coverage, better play rec, better zone coverage. The other other reason why I really like this is because I like to cross man a little bit out of this formation, and that's what 335 allows us to do. So we're going to come out in any play in 335 but we're going to inevitably audible down into the cover four show too. Now, the beauty of this is there's really not that many adjustments we like to do out of this. What I like to do is blitz my user. My user is going to be this middle linebacker right here. So I'm going to blitz my user. I'm going to, uh, you don't have to shift your D line to the left if you don't want to. If you just want to crash them out, that's fine. I personally like to shift them to the left. I feel like it's a little bit better for stopping the run. We're going to crash our D line out. We're going to bluff blitz the defensive end that is on the running back side. That is the most important thing in this video. That is going to allow you to stop seam wheels. That is going to allow you to pretty much stop any of the running back routes. When you put a bluff blitz and a three rec hook from a defensive end on the running back side, it makes the seam wheels very much so less effective. Then the last adjustment that we want to do is we're going to man up this linebacker that is blitzing on anyone that we want. My personal recommendation is to man him up on the triangle receiver or the inside slot on the on the two receiver side. Very important because whenever they go to this play four verticals, what a lot of people like to do is basically something to this extent where we're going to double flat and we're just going to basically try to attack the zones that direction. And what I like to do is typically my user lurk is going to be in this right side box. So if I see a crosser from left to right, I'm going to take that crosser. Otherwise, I'm going to kind of use the little hook area on that right side of the field. So as you see here, I'm coming over here for this one. And then as you see on this back side, we're going to be able to defend that triangle route, uh, that triangle wheel route with our um, with our with our man coverage. So again, cover four show two, uh, crash your line up, shift your D line to the left, bluff blitz the defensive end on the running back side, shift the line to the running back side. So if the running back's on the other side, you just flip it and then man up on to the triangle receiver. So you see here, this is what the defense looks like. And again, I'm gonna go to that four verticals concept, except this, and, and I just want you to kind of watch. Uh, I'm gonna try to force feed uh, this throw. I'm gonna try to restrict the running back, just kind of really attack uh, in, in a unique way. And what you're gonna see is if I try to throw this ball to the triangle receiver, it's not gonna be open. Any other zone in the game, cover three, cover four, drop, cover two, uh, doesn't matter. Zone drop, Mabel coverage, that will be open. And so we're able to take that away. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is how this three reg hook defender really does a good job against this mesh post play. So I'm going to go to mesh uh, or mesh spot. I apologize. Mesh spot. We've got a seam wheel to the running back. So we're going to flat uh, the square receiver. We're going to streak the triangle receiver. And then with the tight end on the backside, we're just going to block him or put him on some kind of route, uh, like a little quick in or quick little flat or whatever. But most of the time people block him. 
And basically what they're going to do is they're going to look for the seam wheel or they're going to look for the post. I'm not even going to use anybody on this play. Uh, I'm just going to let the play run. But what you can see is the seam wheel will be covered by the three red hook defender, as you can see. And then this deep post will get guarded by the match coverage, as you can see. Very, very good defense against one of the best plays in the entire game. Okay. Uh, and then I want to show you another concept. This is more of a hot route master uh, specific setup, but this is another concept that you will see uh, from time to time. And this is why I like to specifically use her kind of in this area of the field over here on the right side. So what we're going to do is we are going to, it's kind of a PA post shot kind of setup. Uh, I'm going to go to mesh spot. I'm going to cross her, uh, the triangle receiver or the square receiver. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to streak one of the guys so you see here just kind of something like this and really what this is is this is kind of like a pa post shot style we're going to hit them with crossers over all over the field right well what you're going to notice on this defense is if i'm here i'm going to take the crosser from left to right but the one from right to left is going to get matched perfectly so i'm going to jump into instant replay and kind of show you that this is one of the best ways to guard this so again what you're going to do and again if you're defending tight slots a little bit different than defending the rams uh version of this because i think the players are going to come from different angles but what you're going to see is we're going to have pretty good defense this guy's manned up this is probably the only area they have open if you wanted to you could hard flat to take both of those drags away but as you can see our users taking that crosser from left to right and then that leaves this guy this concept backside which is not going to be an option so the other reason why I like this cover four show two defense is let's say for example that they are going to try to attack you uh, with a flooding concept to the left side like the play bench. So if I go to this play bench, what you're gonna see is I'm just gonna set up kind of a traditional flood to that side of the field. And then on the back side, you know, again, you can do whatever. I might run a simple curl flat, it, it really doesn't matter. But what you're gonna see is on the front side of this, I'm not gonna have to use anybody on that flooding side and as you can see, we're going to take that completely away. You get a box check on both sides. What that essentially means is corner routes are not going to be a problem. We're going to be able to guard every corner route. We're going to be able to guard the running back seam wheel. We're going to be able to guard crossers from right to left. And so really all that leaves is our user's responsibility to sit in this area of the field and take away any crosser or like a tight end uh, little wheel where they're trying to get that tight end open. One of the best plays in the entire game this year is this flood play. And the reason why is because you can block that tight end, you can get some extra time, you can roll out and try to hit this post, and you can kind of set up a route combination to try to bomb coverages. What you're gonna notice, again, I'm not gonna use anybody. And what you're gonna notice is this square or this inside quarter on the right is going to match onto that post and is going to take that away. So that is my preferred defense for defending the uh, tight slots formation. If you want to, you can hard flat to kind of help out a little bit more against those drag routes, but this is the best match defense that I have found up till this point in the season for defending this, uh, this attack. I think this is, honestly, if I had to tell you one offense that I hate going against, this is that one because everything it just seems like the rest, everything happens so quick it's all congested and i can't quite know who to use her and where to use her now with this defense this is going to help me a lot i think it's going to help you guys a lot and if you want to dive a little bit deeper into this defense or if you just want to become a better madden player i would really encourage you to join my patreon membership by joining the patreon membership you're going to get immediate access to everything you're going to get instant access to every ebook that we've released every exclusive tip we've got 13 ebooks in the membership membership right now with I think four or five that are going to be coming within the next month and guys I just have to tell you this membership it continues to update continues to get better again every single day we're trying to get better at this game so if you want to take your Madden game to the next level be sure to sign up for the Patreon membership you can cancel whenever you would like and it's only ten dollars a month for just 10 bucks, you're gonna get access to it right out of the bat, 13 eBooks, several exclusive tips, some pro player breakdowns, updates to a lot of the metas that you're seeing in the online gameplay. And guys, I just have to tell you, if you wanna sign up for that, again, there's a link in the description below. You can sign up for that for just 10 bucks. And remember, you can cancel that whenever you want to. So you don't have to sign up for a year or anything. Uh, but again, as soon as you sign up, you get access to everything. Every ebook, every exclusive tip for one price of just 10 bucks a month. And again, if you want to sign up for that, there's a link down in the description.
description. So head on down in the description, head over to the Patreon and check it out. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you guys later.